Mipa. 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 No, don't say the N word. Don't say. <laughs> don't say the N word. All right, welcome back. <laughs> all right, all right, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry, episode number. <laughs> number 14 i need to check because i didn't know what it was uh last time uh i don't, I don't know i don't know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop pretending like i know i'm just gonna tell you the things that i saw on my screen and i won't try to explain them anymore all right so satoko uh was a victim of the oyashiro sama's curse and so was her whole family that's why her parents died. Satoko's known about the curse, but she's been trying to avoid it until it took over Keiichi, and then she pushed him off a bridge and he died. There was the there was the stuff with Rika. Rika's dead corpse just randomly there for for some re for some reason. Rika's dead corpse is just there by the shrine, being eaten by goddamn vultures or whatever. I, I can't with this show. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. How, how many more until I'm done with this? We're like exactly halfway, I think. A little bit more than halfway. <sighs> There's only three chapters left. You know what pissed me off the most about this? This series doesn't even get explained. In the, in, in the show. In the show, none of this is explained until the, the sequel the sequel season when they cry kai fuck it so you want me to watch more episodes of this just to understand the story a story that could possibly be explained in like four to eight episodes like this whole series could be explained so quickly but no no you're gonna make me wait another 24 episodes to to explain the whole series to me the last chapter i like that chapter until like the very end, it got a little bit weird near the end, but I liked seeing Satoko get like her own little mini mini arc pretty much with steering us away from the Oyashiro stuff for like a minute and just giving us like some character and story behind the characters, you know? Because I feel like, I don't know, they just dropped us into this. I liked the last chapter, but I know that it's going to go back to its usual BS as soon as I p press the play button. You know, I want, I, I liked the third chapter. I liked it more than the second one, that's for sure. And you guys agreed with me. That's the crazy part. You guys agree that this is like tedious, but you guys are like, oh, continue watching. It gets better. Anime fans are always like that, man. No, 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 it gets better. Trust me, it, trust me, it gets better. Maybe that's a problem with anime in general. I don't know. But this this series has the worst pacing that I've ever seen. The worst the, the worst storyline I've ever seen. What is this episode called? I've 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 been I've been ranting long enough. What is this called? The time wasting chapter. What a fitting name. What a fitting name. You might as well just call the whole series that. The time wasting chapter. Part 1 Hinamizawa. Let's do this. Sorry I'm a little bit I'm a little bit I'm a little bit tense, but I'll give it a chance, but I don't have hopes for this chapter specifically, just because it's only two episodes. What could they do in two episodes? It has also been another like three months since the last time I recorded. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm watching this all in a row? I have better stuff to do. I try to at least squeeze it in, you know. Three people were arrested for interfering with the police. What? What is this? What is this chat? What? Why did they- why did it- they pull up with this white van- oh no. Oh no. Leave this child alone! So I'm guessing this whole chapter is about Hinamazawa. Hello, Rika. How are you? She's looking down at her town, wondering what happened. So is this Rika's chapter? Why is it so short? This fucking intro, man. 
This whole series is gonna cause me PTSD. You guys wanna know something funny? Higarashi is actually in one of my music playlists from like a long time ago, but I had no idea what Higarashi was. The series is actually cursed for me, I'm serious. Fucking fate. I have such a weird relationship with this series. Probably the weirdest I've had with any series on this channel. It's like a weird love-hate relationship. <laughs> like you, Higarashi, you rake, you rake in the views and I'm interested in your story, but you also annoy the hell out of me. What is this show about again? Oyashiro-sama, that's, that's all I remember. I, that's all I remember, dude. As Akasa Mamoru. I met that young girl due to one kidnapping case. The Ministry of Construction official's principal son. It's also the cabinet mister's grandson was kidnapped. It was that the kid we saw in the beginning? This is horrible. So we're gonna see the business that tried to take over Hinamazawa. Oh no. You're gonna send him into town? Oh sir, you are not making it out of this town. You got a wife? She's beautiful. Oh, and she was pregnant? <laughs> Come on, man. You're just setting this guy up to be killed. Giving him his sad ass sob story. He's done. He's done. Well, we already know your fate. Like a minute in. Akasaka. Where's Oshi at, huh? <laughs> Hello, Oshi. You were wild in last chapter. Doesn't matter though. None of this matters. None of this story makes any sense. Every time I watch this show, it's like a it's like a brand new series. It's like an alternate universe, dude. Like it doesn't even matter. Like none of this story fucking matters anymore. So there's where we hide the dead bodies. <laughs> oh, she explained many things about Hinamizawa. It's three great families. Yep, the Sonozakis. The Sonozakis. Sonozaki or Uryo. Hinamizawa's leader. Who leads the anti dam movement. So who's that? Is that like... Mion and Shion's father or something? Mother? What? From the big city, huh? I hate this town, bro. You're lying that they marked due to the appeal, right? That uh, may be more helpful to you if you told me the truth. I don't trust anyone in this town. Why are you interested in my mission? Well, it's a give and take situation. This dude Oshi is like Satan incarnate. At least we get the view from the outside now. Maybe this guy can actually give us some perspective. Because he's a stranger and I still feel like a stranger to this town. Maybe, maybe he can explain some stuff for me. Oh. It's true love. No. <laughs> no! Stop! Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Why is she sleeping on the park bench? Homeless ass. Me. 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 What is hap- Me. What? Me. Me. <laughs> Me. What is happening? Sure seem like it, sir. Mipa? Mipa? No, don't say the n-word. Don't say- <laughs> Don't say the n-word. This is weird, man. Leave these girls alone! Leave them alone! Just leave them alone, man. Stop saying that, Rika! You don't have a Nipa pass. <laughs> You're Tomotake number two! What the f- what the fuck, Rika? You're Tomatake number two? Oh no, man. You wanna come back here? Wait, wait, bro. I won't say anything about this guy just yet, but it's weird that it's weird. Now that I'm thinking more about his wife and his baby, I, I, I'm. I, I'll, I'll hold it. I'll hold. I'll hold all my thoughts. 
I have to hold my thoughts when watching Higur Higurashi. Also, Rika's younger here. What? The shrine. Furudu shrine. Furudu shrine. Furudu Rika. One of the three great family. Yeah. Stop saying that! <laughs> you can't say <laughs> So yeah, Rika's one of the three great families. I figured this out like a while ago. That her last name is Farood. Her family name is Farood. So it's Farood Sonozaki. What's the last one? Maibara. Keiji Maibara. The shrine is also the anti-dam movement's main office. If you want to say, vote for a politician with the same views, or jump into the world of politics and debate your point. That's the bedrock of democracy. I don't understand what you're saying. They do not understand democracy. This whole town is a dictatorship. But yeah, this dude is ignorant, dude. I mean, democracy should work like that, but it doesn't. But I won't get into that. I won't get into that. Why is Higurashi trying to be political? Peaceful protest won't work. <laughs> exactly. We can only live here. We can't live in this city. Why not? You know? It's sad though. The, the people of this town really were innocent back in the day. They didn't deserve this, man. It was corporate greed. It's Kimi Yoshi! It's Yoshi! Yoshi! <laughs> Yoshi! Yoshi! Kimi Yoshi! <laughs> Look at Rika. <laughs> so are, are they related? Are Rika and Kimi Yoshi related or? No, they're not. They have different family names. Do you believe this village will sink? I mean, he's not the one in charge, you know? Rika, what the fuck? Regardless of what you do, the dam plan will end this year. It's already been decided. Decided by who, exactly? What? What's happening? Oh, Rika, you're getting your creepy moment? <laughs> Akasaka, go back to Tokyo. It's best to go back to Tokyo quickly. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll regret it very much. Regret? I've warned you. Hi, Oyashiro! Hi! You're not Rika-chan. Mm-hmm. We know who you are. That's Oyashiro-sama. That's the same person who talked to Keiichi as Mion. And I think as, uh, Reina before. Me, Rika, your body just got possessed by a demon. Sonozaki's had a family meeting last night. Yo, they're like a fucking, they're like a gang. <laughs> Sonozaki or you? Oh sh! Her granddaughter Mion. Mion. The leaders of the other great families, the Farud and the Kimiyoshi. All right, all right. Rika's <laughs> just over there, like <laughs> with her with her coloring book. <laughs> Got her damn coloring book. It's like it's Thanksgiving and she's at like the kids' table. So is that is that supposed to be Xion right right next to her? Or is that their mom? Is that is that is that uh is that Mion's mom and dad? Where's where's Xion then? Xion's just not allowed to, not 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 allowed in the club. Fuck you guys. I mean I see where I see where Xion gets it now. What did they discuss? Anti-dam movement, alright. But the issue is what was discussed at the end. So this woman, if for us, the land is our mother, then the dam is a disturbance that threatens our mother life. Our mother's life. Her, the grandson of the dam's minister, has been kidnapped. And it's causing chaos. They planned it. They're the ones who did it. So they kidnapped the dude's son as ransom so they wouldn't d go through with the damn plan. Our pain is the pain of losing our mother. 
I don't think it's completely similar. But he certainly deserves the pain of losing a grandchild. But there's a difference between the land and someone's child. I don't mind the kidnapping. But I don't want him to be injured. Okay, good. Don't hurt the innocent child, Jesus. I mean, you guys aren't completely heartless. What is happening, man? So they kidnap a child. Why not just let them do what they want? Like, they're gonna get their way anyways. So. Yeah, don't fuck with the Sonozaki family, dude. Oh, she's been attacked two or three times. He wore a knife-proof vest even on his day off. Oh, she's out here fighting a war. After the kidnapping case, another case came up. To investigate the grandchild's kidnapping, said the Tokyo's public safety sent an investigator. Isn't that you? <laughs> Isn't that you? Did Rika... Did Rika... Rika... No way, did you... Did Rika spill the beans? Or was she... Rika was in on it?! Young and fresh, you gonna eat him? Y'all are nasty! But if he causes too much harm, then don't hesitate at that point. Oh no! And how do you know all this, sir? They're gonna kill your wife and child, brother. I'm sorry. Right. Fuck off, Oshi. Every time you're involved, something horrible happens. Something interesting was sent to a station's lost and found. A wallet. This is found at Taka Tustudo, which is a ghost town. Whose wallet and identification was that? Oh, she getting strapped up! No shit, I'm wearing one. Okay, so, uh, more analyzing. Like, that wasn't really, you know... I get it, I get it. We're setting up this storyline. So, yeah, we got introduced to the families. Get my happiness. So, Mion's grandmother is the one at the very top, you know. She's the final boss. She's, she's at the top. And then there's Kimiyoshi. And then there's the Faroods, which was Rika's parents. They were, they were the two people with the brown hair, right? So why does Rika have blue hair? Because there was no blue-haired people in there. But I'm guessing it's the two parents that were... Like, kind of silent throughout the whole meeting. Those were her parents, right? So it's Rika's family, the Kimiyoshis, and it's the Sonozakis, right? There's Faroods, Kimiyoshi, and Sonozaki. So they just wanted to stop the dam. What, what's wrong here? If, if, if the if the fucking corporate did not mess with them, then none of this story would have happened. That, I think that's the point. I think that's the story, like... What's the next episode called? Time Killing Chapter Part 2, Sign. So this dude, A A A A A Akasaka, whatever his name is, he was, he was just, he was just sent here by the corporate to investigate what was going on with the anti-dam movement and everything. And the, the Faroods, the Sonozakis, and the Kimiyoshi, the, the three great families, they're in on the anti-dam movement. They're leading it. And they just want to stop anyone who's trying to destroy their town. Okay, what's wrong with that? I mean, I, we all, I, I know we know that this whole town is possessed by a demon. And like, like murders just randomly happen to anyone who disobeys or disrupts the, the order. But if you put that aside, let's, let's put that aside for now. This was just a normal town of rural people who just wanted to live in their town. And they were going to build a dam over it. So in the end, they're still like overall, they are the good guys in in this situation. Not, not with like killing Keiichi or like murdering people or all of this horrible stuff happening with the demon. But if it was just that then yes, they were justified in this this scenario specifically. Not anything else, but but like killing killing Satoko's parents that like I'm pretty sure these guys did it. They assembled a meeting and you know they had them executed because they were supporting the dam. 
Like, that's wrong. That's wrong, you know? Killing your own people. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, is it... That's not really right, is it? You can't kill innocent people. If this new new rookie guy that we met in this episode, if he dies, then he's he's left... He's left his wife with a newborn child and he's dead. You know, if he if he dies, like there's a strong possibility there. But like it's not right. It's not right, but it's not wrong either. You know. I feel like I feel like having these three great families rule over the town was a bad idea in general. It's just the same family. Generation through generation. It's 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 bound to get evil, you know. What is it called when um, a family rules over a, a king? A, a monarchy? It's not really a monarchy, is it? What is it called? It's not called a monarchy. I'm not thinking of a monarchy. It is a monarchy. Okay, so I guess, I guess it is a monarchy. And Mion's the princess, I guess. <laughs> of course, this monarchy is not going to work out. But they have it because they want to keep up the tradition. Like, just fucking leave them alone. That, like, that, I think that's how you solve solved this, you know? Just leave them alone. Innocent outsiders get killed when they step into the town. But just leave them alone, man. Just leave, leave them alone and maybe they'll leave us alone. You know how there's like indigenous tribes on like faraway islands? Like, you know how there's, like, still, like, tribal, like, people in, like, islands, like, scattered across the ocean? Like, this is, this is real, you know? There's, like, people who are still living in, like, tribal camps on islands in modern-day society. And, like, ships pass by them, and we, we all just collectively decide as a, you know, society to just ignore it, you know? Just let them be let them be because why would you want to step onto their to their land and have them like you know attack you or you attack them and cause unnecessary violence you know it's like that you know just leave the people of hinamizawa alone and they'll fuck off and leave us alone simple right you know maybe it's more complicated than that but i, I just wanted to say my piece but anyways that was episode number 14 of higarashi and I will see you guys for episode number 15. Alright, see you guys. Oh, that phone booth. Not this phone booth, man. This phone booth is cursed. What did I say? <laughs> Alright. Welcome back to Higarashi When They Cry. Episode number 15. Last time, uh, we got introduced to this new guy. I already forgot his name, and it hasn't even been a day. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's this new guy. He's sent from the, uh, the corporate to investigate what's going on in Hinamizawa because of the dam that they're trying to build. And there's an anti-dam movement led by uh, the three great families which is the Faroods, uh, the Sonozakis, and the Kimiyoshis. So this rookie guy comes into town, he gets some info, and he's warned multiple times that he he's not welcome in Hinamizawa, you know? And he's now gonna go to this abandoned part of Hinamizawa? I don't know. Some abandoned town. And he's gonna find something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna stop trying to explain or understand this series. I'm just gonna watch it because apparently you guys want me to. The, the YouTube gods say I have to. And this is what sells, apparently. I don't know. This show was also pretty popular back in the day. I, I want to know how and why, you know. Who was watching this and thinking, yes, I want more. Whatever. Start the episode. Oh my god. This is not okay. He did not do anything. He's just the corporate guy's son. Grandson. So he was he was here. Eerie? Oh yeah, they did call a doctor. I mean, is Eerie the only doctor in this town? Man is the only doctor. What did they do? Did they steal your liver? 
I got it after a car accident last winter. <laughs> what? Eerie, you know this child or something? Like, what? What's that look in your face? <sighs> this also, this so the kid's gonna have a backstory too? Did they steal this kid's liver? What, what, what did they do? So there's no cage here, Reyna. Could this be like a prequel? I, stop trying to guess the timeline. Stop trying to understand the series. Just watch. That's 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 my only job right now. Just to watch. Watch the events unfold. Scream. Do the funny reaction. But it could be a prequel, you know? Because Reyna and Keiichi aren't here yet. Rika seems younger. I, I forgot to even mention Satoko, man. I forgot to even mention Satoko in there. I'm always forgetting about her, but we shouldn't. Akasaka, that's his name. We're headed to the Hinamizawa district. Oh yeah, we got strapped up. Oshi got the body armor on. Oh God, why are you wet? Oh, it's raining. Do we have guns? We gonna roll up in there with guns? So this is an abandoned part of Hinamizawa. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Uh, hi, Iri. What you up to, man? What you doing? I guess you could say that. Then we're gonna pull up to the same house. No. Oshi! Oshi, look at the back door, Oshi! 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 Oshi, you are the worst officer ever. No, sir. No, sir. We planned for this. Okay, Oshi! I take back what I said. He's doing his job! Oh my god! This is the same dudes that took Keiichi, remember? With the- with the- with the hat? Oh no! Oshi? Oshi, how did you lose that fight? You got the upper hand on him. And we got shot. Shit. He got shot. Damn, dude, I knew you were gonna die, but I didn't think it was gonna happen this quickly. Run! Dumbass kid! The fuck out of here! Yes, Oshi! My man, Oshi! Get the blicky! Get the blicky! Hey, it's over. Get the other- the other guy! Shoot him! Shoot him! I don't fuck the law! Shoot him! Fuck the law! Shoot him! This man, Oshi. This man, Oshi, think about retirement bonus. I can't, bro. Well, I'm not police, so maybe I could shoot him? Oh, she would have to arrest you if you took the gun. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get him back to his home. <laughs> Help your boy out. Hi, Eerie. This motherfucker is Eerie. He always gives me an Eerie vibe. Like, I can't tell, like, like if he's, like, good or bad or neutral. The grandson? Alright, he's he's good. The minister said he's freezing the Hinamizawa Dam project. No, oh, who could have seen this coming? <laughs> so they succeeded. Anyways, all for nothing. There may be a force more powerful than we think. Oh, she knows, man. He's always known. But those two we tackled with were certainly trained no matter how we look at it. It's hard to believe that a street thug could pull off such a scuffle. His shooting skill was also precise. They were trained in combat for this specific moment. Yep, it is a mystery, Yoshi. Relying on you to solve it. Oshi's like the only person who can solve this. Okay, who's... Rika, is that you? <laughs> Rika! Oh, that phone booth. Not this phone booth, man. This phone booth is cursed. What did I say? <laughs> Injured people shouldn't sneak out of the hospital. Mm-hmm. 
Hi, Rika. Kimi ga denwa no koro? Yeah, little scoundrel going around cutting phone cords. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Nipa, stop saying that. Alright, I'll just do as you say. It's happy ass music. The sweet ass fucking little piano. Like, I can't. Stop following me! <laughs> yeah, she lives at the shrine. Go home. Go home. Shoo. The fest. Oh, God. Why? 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 No. Is he going to. Oh, he's going to. Oh, okay. You want to come to the festival? It will be fun. She's luring you into a trap, dude. She might not be the one killing you, but she's going to lure you to the, to the people who are going to kill you. Wow, look at all these fucking demons. All of them demons. But the cotton dressing festival was different last time. You were like, I don't know, you were you were shearing the cotton. You were in combat stance. I, I remember. Now it's just people drinking. And you were right. But how did you know, Rika? I don't understand difficult topics. Yeah, because you're like eight. <laughs> like eight years old. At least peace will now return to this village. Peace to this village? Ain't no such a thing. <laughs> Even though a year from now, gruesome bloody things will occur. In a few years, I will be killed. What? This has been decided. Decided? Who decides such a thing? It's called Oyashiro-sama. Even if I tell you this, nothing will change. But erasing the moon called death reflected on the water's surface by casting a pebble may be possible. A sacrifice. A sacrifice may make it possible for her to live. Oh, what is this? What is this sound? An airplane? What's up, my boy? How many years was it? Oh! So now it's years later? One day, a few years after the kidnapping, I reunited with o Oshi san. I felt I wanted to see him to confirm something, if nothing else. If Rika's still alive. Miyuki was born from Yuki's womb. Okay, so his wife died. So, so they could take anyone, huh? What the f- Oh no. Ow! Oh! Not a pregnant woman, man. So, Cotton Drifting Festival, it doesn't matter where you are, they can just kill you. Just like that. Doesn't matter. They can kill you no matter where you are. And Rika, Rika knew, man. Rika just knows everything. Rika knows everything, huh? Because she's like connected to Oyashiro. Which is odd. It's odd, isn't it? If I had known the outcome, I would have gone back to to Tokyo, dropping my work as she said. At least they didn't kill your child, bro. I don't know how that child was born if she died. She died She died, and then she gave birth? Like, Let's say Farood Rika was a prophet who knew the future. Why couldn't she predict that major disaster? So is this after chapter 3? Yeah, the gas. So this is like a follow-up to chapter 3. So for once, the chapters are connected. What? Like now they're now you want to connect them like really, the le the first two had nothing to do with each other, the first three actually, but now chapter three and chapter four are connected. Fuck out of here. So he Namizawa is gone. Wait 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 wait. You can't just drop something like that on me, man. Oh yeah, Shiro-sama's reincarnation, Rika Farood. Bro, what? Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just gloss over this, whatever. Because Rika was killed last time. Who killed her? It wasn't Keiichi, it wasn't Satoko. We know that because they just, they're the ones who found the body. So because Rika died, that's why all that stuff happens. She was murdered. Naked and barefoot. Oh, God! 
Not this man. A drug-induced coma. She was carried there and her abdomen was... Oh my god. Yeah, her internal organs were intentionally pulled out. Wait, if it was drug-induced, wouldn't that mean it was Reyna and Mion? That's like their specialty. That's like Mion. That's, that's how Mion kills people. She did that with freaking Tomatake and that was her, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> I think, I think it was Mion, because she's the one who uses the drug. She used it on Keiichi, yeah? That's, that's who she used it on. What's your take on these serial mysterious deaths? And the Oyashi Osama's curse. Went on for five years and had the worst ending. Back then, those incidents happened by chance. Every year on the cotton drifting day. We all felt like, I hope nothing happens this year. <laughs> no shit, it wasn't by chance. Part of my purpose of this trip this time was to find a link between the Oyashiro Sama serial murders and Furu to Rika who predicted them. Does that mean all the scenarios were prepared a year before the serial mysterious deaths? By Rika? The girl knew about her own death. Then why didn't Furu to Rika run away? Because she was trying to protect someone or trying to save herself or someone else. Why didn't she send out an SOS to someone? She tried to. To, to Akasaka. Yeah, to you. June 1979. The damn manager, site manager will be killed. His body will be dismembered and thrown away. Following that year. She's just given the whole plot. Sasako's parents will be pushed off a cliff and killed. See? Yep, they were murdered. Pushed off. Keep that in mind. Who's Satoko? <laughs> Bitch, I hope the fuck you do! 1981, my parents will die. Following this day, on June 1982, Satoko's Minan will get her head cracked in and be killed. That was Satoshi. And then the next year, 1983, or maybe a few days later, I will be killed. If all these deaths happen as predicted, is the last death also in the prediction? But in that case, whose prediction is it? Oh, Rika. This is my favorite fucking scene in the show now. Because it's just crazy, dude. So you're Oriashiro? Reincarnate? I want to live happily. That's my only wish. I want to spend fun days surrounded by my favorite friends. I'm not wishing for anything more, but I don't want to die. Rika. Ah. Uh, is this Hinamizawa after? Even until this year, the Hinamizawa district blockade still has not been lifted. So Rika was Oyashiro? But Oyashiro is also Rika. Because that's Oyashiro Sama's voice, but it's Rika saying the words. And they called her the reincarnate. So why? Why? That's, all, that's the only question I have at this point. Why? Why is all of this happening at all? If, if Rika is like some sort of Oyashiro reincarnate, why is this? Ha why is any of this happening? That's my question. That's my only question. Why is any of this happening? Some of you guys were saying, oh, you don't know who the main character is. I had a suspicion that it was, that it was uh, Rika because they hadn't given her like her own little arc yet. I, I always thought she was the most important character to this show. But I didn't think she was Oyashiro. What the fuck? Elaborate, like. <laughs> What meets is the compensation for kindness. What falls is the maze to sadness. What burns are the wor are tw thoughts towards vengeance. Fire ass lyrics. The eye opening chapter. First love. Satoshi! Is that Satoshi? Maybe it's about Reina and Satoshi? So Rika always know. Rika always knows everything that's going to happen. Chapter three, she knew the whole time. She knew everything that was going to happen. 
Rika, Rika does seem to know what is going on at all times, so maybe. But the events change every time. It's weird. It's weird. Chapter 3 and 4, the one we just watched, they're connected. It's the same events because um, the gas leak happened. Was the gas leak Keiichi's doing because he wished for it? Because it feels like there's like two supernatural powers going on at the same time, you know? Almost fighting with each other. There's the stuff that's happening with Keiichi. And then there's the stuff happening with Rika and Oyashiro. Like, I feel like there's like two different forces at work here. Because there were some things that Rika couldn't predict. Like the natural disaster. It can't just all be Oyashiro. That doesn't make any sense. Especially if Rika is Oyashiro. That throws a wrench in everything. Okay, so if I'm taking the, the events from the last chapter satoko went into the oyashiro shrine on accident when she was young uh, rika got blamed for it right is that why um, i don't know i don't know why would oyashiro want to curse see it doesn't make any sense i know season i know i have to watch season two to get to the, to the fucking plot apparently for keichi in the first chapter we saw those same the same two men that um kidnapped that child and i think they're like the they're like the uh the security around this town you know to silence people and to do the bidding of the the three great families they're the anti-damn movement and we've, we've seen them around they're trying to like kill keichi for some reason he was working with oshi and they don't like oshi let's 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 say for instance that all of the stuff before um keishi comes to hinamizawa is canon that happens regardless because this was like a prequel let's say the prequel happens i sound fucking crazy right now <laughs> this show has driven me mad let's imagine that the prequel events happen the stuff with akasaka his his family the stuff with oshi so Oshi's always the good guy in this situation trying to figure out what's going on in hinamizawa and he's always careful. Maybe that's why he's always so like hands off, you know, because he knows wrong one wrong move and he's dead. Because he knows he's working against powers he cannot face. So he tries to get people on the inside, like Keiichi Akasaka, who is a part of the damn movement. He's trying to get people on the inside, but not directly interact with the people who are at the top. And who killed Rika? I, I think it's Mion and Reyna. It had to be Mion and Reyna. Because they're the ones who used the drug. They're the same ones who killed Tomatake the first time. They had the drugs with Keichi. Rika died the same way that they described Tomatake's death, right? They first drugged him and then they cut him open. If the damn project was stopped, if all of this is kind of over, why, why is the murder and death still continuing? Someone somehow, somehow, somewhere, they found out this man's wife. They found this man's wife, Akasaka. They found his wife, pushed her down the stairs while she was pregnant. Or maybe it was just natural forces. I don't know. I don't know. Curse. Something. Something made her fall. Some supernatural thing or a person. Why do I continue to watch this when it frustrates me to no end? I don't know. I don't know, man. But I'm invested in the story now. I'm invested, all right? I'll say it. They got me, they got me. But I can understand anyone who wants to drop this series because it is the most frustrating, confusing mess that I've ever seen. But I'm still gonna watch it all the way through. I, I, need, to, I need an explanation, dude. I wish that we got to know the characters a little bit more, but I guess that kind of spoils the plot, but like, I don't care about any of their well-beings at this point. Like, I'm not invested in the characters at all. They're like, they're like flesh puppets at this point. Because I know what's going to happen to them. There's no, there's no change or variation. They just die. For some reason, everyone just dies in this show. Like with Satoko's backstory, that was really interesting. But I know now that it's going to get, like, I'm pissed off because I know as soon as I watch the next episode, it's going to get reset. So we're back to just square one again stupid and even if we do know satoko's backstory it fucking changes every single time the events keep changing so i can't get invested onto these characters because it's like a different set of characters each time 
their personalities change, the plots change, the stories change. It's like a different character every time. So I try to go into it like with like an open mind. Like I just dump out everything I already know because it doesn't matter. Except for this time, apparently, because they did a they did like a sequel and a prequel to the events of the last chapter. I, I feel bad for Rika, don't get me wrong, but like the next episode she's gonna be all cheery and like going on me, 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 me pa, me pa. She's gonna be doing all that in the next episode with Keiichi and friends. So wh what does it matter, dude? Let me get to know what is their base personality? What I want for like the conclusion of this show is for first everything to be explained. I want to see them all like realize what's happening and like work together. Then I want Keiichi and his group to all like reconcile and to defeat whatever evil thing is keeping them stuck in Hinamizawa. Whether it's the great families, which means they might have to go against Mion, or if it's Oyashiro. What if the great family is trying to fight Oyashiro? No, they're not, because they have Rika. They knew it was Rika. Unless they killed her, I don't know. But yeah, that was Higurashi, episode 15. Yep, time for another three-month break from this. Like, it doesn't matter if I take a break from this show because none of the plot matters at all. It doesn't matter. We're reaching the end of this show, man. They, they better start explaining stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys for episode number 16, Higurashi. Alright, see you guys.